So what I have here is a Acer all-in-one computer and I've had issues with this computer shutting down and running very slow. Now I've already gone ahead and pulled this apart just to show you quickly that this is the cooling system for the GPU which was clogged up as you can see. Now what happens is it clogs up, um, your GPU starts running slower and CPU because the, on the other side you got the CPU and to prevent it from overheating they slow down and therefore your computer runs slow until a point where it overheats so much and slows down enough where your computer just shuts down. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to pull apart one of these computers and clean it out. So with this back cover here you just need to slide the top of it down and then pull it out and it should pop out. Now I've got here the RAM in front of me as you can see I've already pre-recorded this video. Um, there will be a serial number what RAM this is. So this is a DDR3 you can go ahead and look it up so if you want in the process of upgrading your RAM you may. So just be aware that when upgrading your RAM to more RAM if you don't have the slots capacity to insert more RAM you may find that say if you've got 2 gig of RAM you can upgrade to 4 gig of RAM um, but be aware that once you pass 4 gig of RAM on your computer if it's not 64 bit your computer might not recognize it so if you've got 32 bit running on uh, you will only be able to get a maximum of 4 gig unless you reinstall Windows um, by checking this you can click on uh, my computer right click go to properties and then it'll give you the amount of RAM that your computer has and uh, it'll tell you your CPU and most so with these silver side covers you'll need to remove all the screws and the bottom casing first to get to the last screw down the bottom there is three screws holding each of these side casings on slide the side casings off and remove all the screws on the back cover now now the back cover should pop off with a flathead screwdriver if you go around the edging in between and just crack it open slowly and work your way around if the casing is not coming off with ease, like it feels like there's some weight behind it, you've most likely got some screws still in there. So make sure you go over again and make sure you've removed all the screws. So I remove the cooling copper system and inside it we need to clean out all the dust throughout the gills. You can choose two options. Use a little tiny brush and a vacuum cleaner or a small little towel. Be careful not to bend any of those gills. Bending them will cause um, air blockage so it won't cool down as much. I've actually chosen to run it underneath a hot tap. Uh, be careful because the copper does transfer heat very quick so make sure you don't use boiling water for it. Um, let it dry overnight, make sure there's no water in it and then pop it back in. Now before you pop it in you'll need some uh, thermal paste, some good quality thermal paste. What I've done is I've put a link down below where I've uh, attached the cheapest cooling paste there what you can buy online. Also if you're looking at upgrading your RAM or your GPU, I um, mean graphics card, uh, you, you can get it in the link below. I've attached the cheapest links to buy the cheapest uh, products out there with a well-known brand uh, to help you guys out. Now, so when attaching the cooling system back onto the GPU or the CPU, what you will need to do is clean the surfaces very well with alcohol and then apply a thin layer of uh, thermal paste to the chip and to the cooling uh, copper cooling system. And this will help transfer dramatically the heat from the CPU chip to the cooling system. If you like my video, please subscribe and hope this has helped you out.